Hey everybody, my name is Travis Ritchie, and I play Inspector Spacetime on Community, and The Inspector on a completely unrelated, and as yet untitled, web series. And I'm Brian Giovanni, and I score the theme song and original score to said web series that he's referring to. And we are here to start production on Season 2, but we're not going to do Season 2 proper just yet. We're going to start with just the prequel episode. So think of this as more of a narrative anteroom. A video appetizer, if you will. It's going to be about six minutes long, and it's going to be a different style than what we've done before. And it'll bridge the gap between Seasons 1 and Season 2. So fund our project. What, what's, uh, what's this? What are you doing? It was a Jedi mind trick. Let's just give some details anyway about the campaign, just in case maybe there's some huts out there that are immune to your Jedi mm. powers. So season one of Untitled Web Series about a space traveler who can also travel through time. Are you gonna say the whole thing each time? No, not at all. Was an unmitigated success. We were called one of the best TV shows on the web by USA Today. I mentioned in G4's Attack of the Show. Yes, and we were posted several times on BBC America's website, as well as Entertainment Weekly and- Public and Post. And got tons of love from all sorts of wonderful websites. And the reason we're raising $10,000 for it is because, well, frankly, we learned a lot of lessons from season one. Like standard theories on quantum entanglement. And also how much it costs to rent a booth, which costs uh, nearly $2,000 for the first season for just one day. We're going to build it for about 1000 which also will be able to be used for future seasons. Additionally, the uh, console for the booth. We're going to actually have it be uh, a special console. And this is going to be designed by the same guy who designed the optic pocket knife. Uh, Brian Wiga is designing the phone console. Now for the first season of Untitled Web Series, everybody who was involved donated their time and did amazing work, but it is very important to me to be able to offer my cast and crew just a little something to reward them for their efforts for season two. Even me? Even Brian. Those of you who've seen season one know how awesome his music was, and Brian actually put in extra time redoing the music and adding stuff that only people who buy the soundtrack or donated to season one ever get to hear. Which brings us to the topic of perks. It's so important for me to give people something in exchange for them helping out. So for instance, at the $10 level, we'll send you a link to download the HD uh, version of the prequel episodes. You can download that right to your computer. And then at the $25 level, we'll put your name in the credits. And then at the $50... Well, and, and I think for the $25 level, I'll we'll also throw in the whole score for the prequel episodes. Oh, awesome. At $25, you'll also get the MP3 of the score that Brian writes for the prequel episode. So the $25 level is pretty sweet. Uh, and at the $50 level, things get interesting. Uh, at $50, we will send you a personalized postcard of the show, uh, signed from me. And at the, uh, I'm gonna also include the eight and a half by 11 photo of the classic 11th at that level. So $50, you get both those things. At the $100 level, you get a signed script of the episode signed by me and Eric Loya, uh, who's my co-writer and also plays Boyish the Extraordinary. And at the $100 level also, I would like to include the soundtrack. Is that cool? That sounds great. The entire season one soundtrack on a physical CD with cover art. So you get the script and the soundtrack on an actual CD sent to you for that $100 level, plus everything that came before. And then the $250 level, that's when uh, you start getting things like the posters that Johnny Eveson designed. We'll throw those in, we'll have the cast sign those and send those to you. And uh, then above that, we'll do things like a Skype conversation. So you get a half an hour on the phone with me uh, on Skype. Or at the higher levels, come out and visit us on set for a day. Or if you can't make it while we're filming, then just come out and spend the day with me in Hollywood and I'll give you a tour and we'll go around LA. Because I really want to reward you guys for helping us out and uh, it, it means so much to me. I cannot say that enough. Now, this is going to be a very short campaign, guys. Less than a month long. I want to try to get this prequel episode done in time for WonderCon, which is the end of March, which means we have to stop the fundraising by March 9th at the latest. So I need you guys to pledge now and tell all your friends to pledge. And uh, if we can get a thousand people to pledge ten bucks, We'll be there, and hopefully people will pledge more. Anything extra we bring in will go towards season two. So there's no downside to this whole thing. So thank you. Thank you. No, just once again, I if you uh, if you donate even a dollar, you'll be able to see all of our uh, uh, donor updates that we do throughout the campaign, and you'll get all the news as it comes out. And don't forget to join us over on Facebook, facebook.com slash untitled web series for behind the scenes pictures and news and uh, even discussions. All right, thanks so much. Take care, guys.